Hello, everybody out in YouTube. Guys, thank you for joining me. Michael Kaminsky, Sublimation101.com. Oh, my goodness. What do I have here? These are patch mugs. I think this is everybody's most terrified mug to make. But I'm going to show you today how fun, fast, and easy we make them at Sublimation101.com. Yes, you too can create this in your Sawgrass system, Photoshop, CorelDRAW. Follow our simple directions and how to. And come on, let's go have some fun. Okay. Go. Hey guys, welcome to Creative Studio with Sublimation101.com. Michael Kaminsky, your host. Guys, when doing this particular patch mug, I choose custom canvas and I set it for inches. I already took the measurements, it's a three by eight. You do not want to have a bleed line. You, your bleed line is working inside of the white patch. Put my grid box on. So simple to make. You can put any image, photo, logo you'd like. This is definitely, I know, a mug that people do get nervous making, and you really shouldn't, because I can simply take a piece of artwork, like so, bring it down, and if I go over here to the aspect ratio and uncheck it and get the magic hand, I could stretch it out and balance it out to fit in. Love more, no, and worry less. See how pretty and simple you can make that? Just by simply taking the tool and just positioning everything with the magical hand to fit right in that box like so lining it up with your center point guys the rest is now print press peel and profit we're going to print that out and if you've been following me on youtube you know my settings i'm going to pick my mug size paper metal text print r and advanced photo why do i always choose these settings i find that you get a richer color saturation and if you're using a photo or anything photo style, you're going to get a richer flesh tone and a truer flesh tone. Once we go in, we're in the print manager. We're going to double check everything, our layout, how many prints, the paper, and click print. We are done, ready to go. As you hear in the background, our mug press is beeping. We're going to have that set, if you're using a standard mug press, 400 degrees for five minutes. If you're using the Sublimation 101 mug press, 350 for your idle, 380 for your transfer, 60 seconds countdown, just like we do all of our ceramic drinkables from sublimation101.com. Start by our transfer being folded, and we're going to pinch the top. That's not only the top, it's our center point. That deviates us from putting it on upside down. I'm going to grab my scissor, and I'm just going to trim off a little of my paper. I'm going to say about a half an inch. And I'm going to open. My transfer is in, ready to go. I'm going to grab two inch pieces long of heat tape, put them horizontally onto the paper, like so. You want half on and half off. By lining up my center point, now I'm just going to take that center point and line up everything I want inside of that white area. If I line up my top straight, my bottom is going to be straight. That's so I don't get vertigo from checking the top to the bottom. And I'm going to fold that right around. And you can actually see through it, if you notice. Everything is inside. Let's insert that into our mug press. And let's get ready to sublimate. To the mug press, Batman. Hey, guys, we're back, and our countdown is finished. We're going to open it up. As you know, the ceramic handle stays cool to the touch. The mug, extremely hot. Grab the top of my paper, peel off my beautiful image, submerge it right into my room temperature water. Why room temperature water? It cools down your sublimation process. Your colors will not get blow out, and you'll have clean, crisp color and images just like we do here. Guys, call in now. I have a special. If you want 24 of these, I'm going to give you 12 free. You heard it here on YouTube. Buy 24 and get 12 free. Thank you for joining me, everybody out in YouTube world. 
Michael Kaminsky, Sublimation101.com.